When advertising agency MNC Saatchi Able was launched in 2010, the broader advertising industry was widely dismissive of its attempt at entering the market. It argued that its initial top-heavy structure would prove too much in a tough economic climate. So has the agency managed to silence its critics? Mike Abel is CEO of MNC Saatchi Able. Mike, thank, uh, thank you so much for joining us. Great to be here. Now, Mike, we have to admit that when you came, uh, you know, advertising industry, not exactly the place to be, but what's been your strategy to make it in this industry? So when we um, returned, there was a lot of um, question marks around would it um, work in a downturned economy um, with a lot of competition. Um, I was encouraged by that. I think a downturned economy is the perfect time within which to start a business because I think that a buoyant economy, businesses really take care of themselves. So to enter in a recessionary market, you really do have to have a very compelling offer. Um, and I think that we do have a very different um, offer, different uh, point of departure. And what we can offer our clients, I think, is a lot more robust than um, a lot of our competitors. So I was uh, encouraged, if anything, in terms of the heavyweight talent that I brought in up front, that is in line with our business strategy because if we are going to be offering our clients very deep, very robust, very sustainable solutions, you need the right type of people that can bring those uh, to the table, that can elicit those kinds of solutions. And that does require experience. It does require, you know, uh, runs on the board. Absolutely. Now, I'm glad that you brought this up because I was actually going to ask you that you have brought some big names, you know, in the industry back into the country. So I'm assuming that that is your strategy to bring back local talent into South Africa. And I presume that's something that you'd also want to do across Africa. That's right. So in terms of bringing talent back to South Africa, obviously I came back from having run the MNC Sanchez Group in Australia, um, returned here looked around and I thought, who are some of the great people that I've worked with locally that have moved internationally? Because I saw what benefit it was for me to work in a different marketplace, to work into Asia, to get all of those new experiences. Um, so I looked towards one of the people I'd worked with before who ran a, an agency in, uh, in Australia, a competitor of mine in Australia, but he was formerly a, a one of the managing directors of my former company. And I brought him back, a guy Jacques Berger, and he ran the Campaign Palace very successfully in Australia. Um, and he runs our Gauteng operation. Uh, I brought Jason Harrison back from the UK. Um, he had been uh, looking after some major um, business uh, in that market. So I thought that would be very useful. Our head of digital and data, Z.R. Davids, ex-South African. All of these people are ex-South Africans. So I haven't brought in um, a whole lot of expats. It's been a kind of a bringing home strategy and you know, getting really talented people together. So Ziad, I brought back, he was head of digital consulting for the Deloitte Group in Australia. So very talented South Africans that had left, that had worked overseas for a number of years, proven themselves in that market. And I thought, what an amazing thing to bring that talent back. But then also, if I look at the 92 people that now work in our company, only about five of them are returnees. And then Gordon Ray, our executive creative director, I brought him back from Kenya. Uh, and he was, uh, he was operating in that, in that market, which is very important to us. Um, the balance of the people are South Africans that um, haven't really worked internationally. Okay. So it's a really bit of a combination. So to use this big, experienced international talent to um, uplift, I guess, the skills um, and the output of, uh, of our company. Mm. But has the, um, the South African agency's financials matched those you drew up before you opened shop? That's an interesting one. Mm. Uh, if I have a look at um, my three to five year plan, we have exceeded those targets dramatically. So um, whereas I might have thought that we would be faster out of the gate as we opened, I think the first six months were slower than I anticipated. Um, but since then, it has um, absolutely um, exceeded my expectations dramatically. Mm. Now, some would argue that the advertising industry is a little bit situated in South Africa, yes. but I reckon that means more competition. So how then are you, or what's your strategy to make sure that you beat the competition and stay atop? Okay, well, we're not a traditional advertising agency. Okay. I say that we're a strategic marketing and communications consultancy that just happens to make ads. And we do a lot of them. I mean, we, you know, we make a lot of ads. But what it does mean is that our solutions start much earlier in the day. When you have a look at what most agencies do, they concentrate really on the P in, the, in terms of the four P's or the six P's, or however they are any, many they are now, on promotion. We don't get involved just on the promotion, which is the advertising. We get involved very deeply in understanding what are the client's business issues they're facing, how does that translate into their business objectives, how does that then translate into their marketing objectives, and then only finally, 
how does that relate to their communication objectives? Because a lot of the advertising you see out there, the communication has got absolutely nothing to do with solving either the marketing objectives, but very much the business objectives. So our orientation is very much in terms of solving the client's key problems. And our point of difference is we say, um, why would you come to our agency? Because we grow your market share and we grow your top line. Not because we're going to win you Lurie Awards. I mean, they're fabulous to win and we'd love to win them, uh, and we do. But it's because we can actually grow your business. That's why you should be with an agency. And I think that the industry locally and internationally has lost the, the plot uh, in many instances in terms of looking at what is the actual return of investment. So a lot of people refer to us as the accountable agency. And we're happy to be accountable because if you are going to take people's money and invest it behind marketing effort, you should absolutely get a measurable return. Mike, we'll leave it at that. But thank you so much for joining us. It's a great pleasure. Great. That was Mike Abel, and he's CEO of MNC Saatchi Abel. Thanks for watching.